assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel and uh, in this video i will show you how to uh, create digital elevation model and contours using google earth so at first let's go to google earth pro uh, you can download this app, app from um, google and uh, this is a free site a free application okay and uh, let's uh, search a hill area like kaptai in bangladesh uh, click search Okay, here it is. Okay, and uh, suppose uh, this is my study area. So, uh, to create a digital elevation model and contour, we need elevation data. Click here at path. Type a name like. and move it aside and next uh, let's draw our path here and uh, you can see I am drawing in a pattern and here I am collecting uh, my data file the more data you gain the more perfect your work will be so up next uh, okay wrong name uh, correct it okay, and uh, save it okay and next uh, right click in here and uh, go to save place as right click, click here and uh, choose a uh, folder location and uh, save uh, and select save type as save as type here in uh, kml dot kml file okay and save it okay this uh, kml file has saved in our hard disk and next we have to uh, convert it into gpx file okay to convert it into gpx file format go to your browser and type gps user.com okay then click here look up elevations and in here upload a file uh, choose your file that you have saved from google earth pro okay this uh, this is my uh, file here click open and uh, make sure your output file is gpx file and click convert and add elevation well uh, then you will see this page in a second and to download this data click download and uh, this link here and uh, type a name like and uh, click save okay. here is our data download and up next uh, go to your art map software okay at first go uh, click geoprocessing click environment and under workspace uh, set scratch workspace as your mm, descendant fol folder as like mine is Earth and edit and click okay mm. go to conversion go to uh, from GS GPX to features okay and input GPX file as your GPX file like uh, here is my GPX file click open and uh, you can change the name here as like okay. shape file okay up next we have to convert it into raster file and a raster file will be our dame data 
and if you don't know who uh, digital elevation model is a 3d uh, cg representation of trains surface commonly of planet moon or asteroid created from trains elevation data and uh, DEMs are used often in geographic information systems and are most common basis for digitally produced relief maps okay to convert it go to art toolbox and the 3d analysis uh, analyst tools and go to raster interpolation and idw and idw and this tool is an ArcGIS geoprocessing tool that interpolates the surface from points using an inverse distance weighted technique. Uh, inverse distance weighted interpolation determines cell values using a linearly weighted combination of a set of sample points. Okay, input features here as this shape file, point file, and uh, in the Z value field, select elevation. And you can change the name here as I want to change it as update Okay, and uh, click. Okay. Okay, here you can see our uh, raster file has created. These are categorized uh, or classified from 31 to 36, 36 to 41. Okay, so this is our digital elevation model. And if we want to generate contour lines, then uh, go to Arc Toolbox, uh, go to 3D Analyst, uh, and Raster Surface. Okay, where is the Raster Surface? Uh, raster Surface and Contour. Okay and input raster as this dem.tif and you can uh, change this name as contour okay and contour interval okay and here you can see uh, these uh, are classified as uh, 31 to 36 36 to 41 and the interval is 5 so uh, select and if you select a, uh, a smaller number the control line will be more dense and if you choose a large number the control line will be uh, a light dense so i am choosing here as uh, 31 36 as 5 okay control interval i am choosing is 5 and uh, click ok so here are my control line has created Okay, as you can see, these are my control lines for this map. Okay, and next, right click here, go to properties. We can also mm, change the color here from line, point, whatever you want. Go to labels and a label field as contour, and uh, you can change the text type here and click ok and again right click here and uh, select label features okay so as you can see our control levels has added in here so you can see this is 60 and this is also 60 and this is 55 this is 50 this is 45 40. Okay. so that's all for today if you are having any trouble please comment below i will try to help you out and if you are watching my channel for first time please subscribe and hit the bell icon and thank you see you in next video